What's up guys? Back with another video. Uh, picked up this 1991 Miata 31,000 original miles. Uh, gonna see if we can get it running today. It's been, it wasn't an accident. Um, I can tell just from the clear coat on the side of the car. Um, body looks straight, so I'm not exactly sure what happened to it. But overall it should clean up. Uh, there's a couple things I gotta get replaced, but the interior is super clean. Really happy with this. It's, uh, I think a high spec car. Uh, power windows, speakers, and the headrest. So we'll see if we can get this thing running today. It's been sitting for <clears throat> at least 12 years. So I'm gonna try to get the gas out of here, change the plugs, check everything over, see what's going on with it and hopefully get it started up and if everything works out it starts up runs then i'll start putting a little bit more money into it um and the ultimate goal will be to kind of make a little track car out of it possibly do spec miata we'll see what happens with it um so the driver's side is probably the worst out of everything passenger side still looks like original paint all the panels have the existing uh vin tags on them so we should, we'll see. It should clean up pretty good. I'm excited for it.
So I ended up changing out the spark plugs, the wires, um, changed the fuel filter, drained all the fuel out of the car, put some fresh gas in it. Um, seems like I'm not getting fuel, so I think it's, it's probably the fuel pump is bad. I don't hear it turning on. I pulled the feeds out and I'm just not even getting any gas out of here, so I'm going to check, make sure that the fuel pump is getting power. Uh, if it's getting power, then I'll change the pump and hopefully that will be the last of it. I will say the plugs look super clean, um, as you guys saw earlier in the video. And uh, the car looks like it was pretty well taken care of. So still crossing my fingers that we can get this thing running. And uh... All right, so... It's been a long process, well, not really a long process, but a little bit of pain in the ass trying to get this thing up and running. Um, I'll show you the underside here of what we ended up doing. So, changed all the plugs, everything yesterday in the car. Um, just get this set up here. So, I changed all the plugs and the wires yesterday in the car. Um, went to start it up didn't want to fire up so so I pulled the lines off here see if I was getting any fuel through the system wasn't getting anything wasn't getting in, hearing the uh, fuel pump turn on so I tried bypassing thinking that maybe it was fuel I mean uh, electrical so I bypassed the fuel pump here to turn on with the ignition still wasn't getting anything so what I ended up doing was testing the voltage there I was getting plenty of voltage at, the, at that relay or uh, diagnostic port. And then I pulled the connector off back at the fuel tank and I was getting voltage there as well. So I ended up putting the connector back on, tapping the fuel pump a couple times and sure enough it, it kicked right on. <laughs> ended up shooting some fuel over the car because I still had the lines disconnected but overall I was able to get it get it back together so um, I ended up doing a new battery in the back here I got some of the trim panels off just getting that rear uh, tray out for the fuel pump so here we go start it up hopefully it will start I think I have a couple vacuum leaks, but she's running. Definitely needs some motor mounts. <laughs> Things ready to rock itself right out of the car. But she's up and running. Headlights came up. That's a plus. Doesn't seem to want to turn on. Definitely think we got some electrical ground moves. Window works. Window works. It's a plus. It's 
this out. Bar is up and running. Next thing is getting it back on the road, making it roadworthy. Needs a lot of work, but should come together pretty nicely. <laughs> 